Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Hash Time with Aton. Thank you guys for tuning in today to the 19th episode. We have my brother Nadal with us here today. Nadal, thank you for joining us. Thank you for inviting me. It's wonderful to have you here. Today, we are going to be doing our second episode of Game review we are going to be reviewing a game called tom clancy's rainbow six siege also known as r6 and yes yeah, so let's just get right into it so basically what the game is about just as a brief overview is it's a five on five with class big it's, it's a class based game so basically there's attackers and defenders the defenders have to defend of course a objective this objective could uh differ from bombs to a hostage to a special biohazard container and there's multiple different game modes, and there's five players on each team, and of course, it's kind of last one standing, right? You know, like Especially a lot of other... Especially in the hostage. Yeah. Like, the hostage never makes it out alive. Yeah, the hostage never makes it out alive. Basically, like a lot of other games. But if we were to give one word, one title, one saying to go with it, it would be the most toxic game. Okay. Call of Duty doesn't have anything. Call of Duty doesn't have nothing, except for, like, Call of Duty early versions yeah, of Yeah, like, it. Call of Duty mo re first one Modern Warfare. Yeah. But, like... Black oh, Ops. Like, Black Ops. Like, but, oh my goodness, okay? This game is the most toxic game. The, the player community is one of the most rude and mean player communities, like, and say, I love it. Let's say, hey, how did I go? <laughs> exactly. It's one of the most toxic gamer communities, and I love it, right? Not for the faint of heart, not for the emotionally weak. You walk right in there, and immediately people start trash-talking you. You cannot win in these kinds of arguments, guys. Let me tell you, okay? You go into a game, and let's say, let's say you have a really sucky computer. Okay, so it takes a little bit to load and that everyone's like, you know, yelling at you because you're taking way too long to load into the match. Mm -hmm. So then they'll call you poor SSD. and then they'll, they'll make fun of you for not having a really good computer and call you poor or whatnot. And then if you load in like in half a millisecond because you have a NASA grade computer, they'll like you call literally just like a uh, like, jetpack joyride. Exactly. Bust open a hole in the wall and steal the computer from NASA and run, just and, to prove these guys and run the game on it. They will be like oh my gosh go outside you do nothing but play video games you're spoiled blah 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 blah, blah. <laughs> you literally cannot win i'm telling you if you're if you're bad at the game they'll call you trash and tell you to like you know all sorts of that stuff and if you're too good they'll tell you to go outside it's a lose-lose situation all of the time now as a game to be honest with you I really enjoy it. I think it's a great way to get your anger out, you know, and talk and meet new people. And it's as well as a strategic game, you know. There's a lot of strategy involved. Nidoff, what is your general, you know, overview take of the game? In my opinion, I bet you the reason it is so toxic is because of a very... No other games have this, a friendly fire feature where, yes, you can kill your teammates. Yes. So, basically, it in is the very game, fun. In my game, it is a feature where you can kill your teammates and, uh... Yeah, that's probably the source of most of the, you it know. It is probably, yeah. I'd say 70% of the reasons people find their monitors and PS4 controllers in the wall. Exactly. And that is because of a TK system. In my opinion, you know, I think it's very fun to have them in that game because it makes it, oh, in case you're wondering, uh, the phrase TK is short for team kill. Because you cannot say the full word, otherwise you you're wasting TK. the point two seconds. It takes to say it. It takes too much time. Exactly. But overall, the game's pretty good. If you, now if you, like I said, if you were to just give one overview of the game, what would you well, rate it? I would say I really like it because, like, it, uh, you, there is a character for everyone. Like, you can be a guy who has a scra uh, flashbang strapped to, sh to a, like, dinner plate Captain America style shield and run at people. Or you could be a guy with a huge Amazon delivery drone, which I play, that, that plays a regular show theme song at full volume. Alright, then. Or, well, if basically, we're on defense. Well, ba well, basically, you know, if you were to add one thing or take away, if you were to add, yeah, let's say add, if you were to add one thing to the game, what would you add it of? I would say maybe, you know, I don't know, it's a very nice game, but there are quite a few problems with what's called hitboxes. So, basically, what a hitbox is, is there's a certain area where if your bullets land, it will deal damage, and there's this one character. Well, I'm pretty sure it was inspired by the na by uh, r r what's it called a NASCAR that they made this character. Her name's Ash. She probably has a hitbox the size of nothing, but you get the point. 
Yeah, you know, if I were to take away, or if I were to add one thing to the game, I would say it'd be the ability to chat with the other team. You know, a lot, a lot of video games don't have this, and for good reason, because basically they're worried about, you know, people being extremely rude, and I understand that as a game developer, but I think it would just make the game a lot more special, right? Like, Call of Duty franchise, uh, some other games have that, and I think that's really what makes it really special. Yeah, you know, I, I would say that. Anyways, that's probably about it. We're gonna try and keep game review pretty short, you know. You know, it's not really a full-length episode, just a little segment we do occasionally. Yes, yeah, so we'd like to thank you guys for tuning into this episode of Hashtag with Aton. Thank you for joining us today. It was a pleasure to have you here. Thank you for inviting me. It was a pleasure coming. It's great. If you guys uh, want to download the game for yourself, it's uh, they have uh, it's actually pretty cheap. It's going on sale now, I believe. We'll leave the link down to the purchase page in the description. Uh, if you guys want, you can play with us. Just leave a comment and we'll, we can friend each other on it if you guys want to play some Siege with us. But yes, we'd like to thank you guys for playing. Have a wonderful day. And thank you, Dylan.